Excellencies, distinguished participants, let me begin by thanking the Republic of Kazakhstan for 25 years of successful collaboration with the United Nations. Over this period, Kazakhstan's economy has doubled in size, become more complex and better integrated into the global economy. You have eliminated extreme poverty and strengthened your environmental stewardship. But Kazakhstan has also looked outward. You have pushed for global solutions to deliver food, water, energy, and nuclear security. Guided by United Nations values, you have sharpened the international community's focus on the special needs of landlocked developing countries and helped shape the Almaty and Vienna programs of action. With Kyrgyzstan, you have set up a Center for Emergency Disaster Risk Reduction, a vital initiative in our disaster-prone region. Your valuable contribution to multilateralism was recognized when you were elected a non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. As an active member of the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, Kazakhstan has been a key proponent of regional cooperation to achieve the 2030 Agenda. With its Sustainable Development Goals in mind, you have been a driving force for deeper regional economic cooperation and integration, supported by increased energy, transport, and ITC connectivity. The Eurasian Economic Union is already facilitating bilateral trade between neighboring countries. The Belt and Road Initiative has highlighted the true potential of southbound economic corridors. ESCAP is committed to supporting Kazakhstan and all our member states to take economic integration a step further. Our analysis is clear. Non-tariff barriers must be dismantled to increase trade, improve competitiveness, and integrate regional markets into global value chains better. Transport, energy, and information and communication technology infrastructure must be built and upgraded. The Eurasian Rail Link, Trans-Caspian Energy Route, and connections to South and Southwest Asia are critical. We need large-scale power grids across borders to increase energy security and the share of renewables in the energy mix. Our financial sectors must be liberalized, supported by financial cooperation to increase competition while strengthening regulatory supervision and cooperation. Many of these priorities are enshrined in the Ganja Declaration agreed in 2016 by the members of the United Nations Special Program for the Economies of Central Asia, SPECA. This year, with Kazakhstan as chair of the governing council, I hope we can use SPECA's 20th anniversary to strengthen the program and deepen economic integration. We look forward to your leadership and to working closely with you in the weeks, months, and years ahead.